Well, with just 17 days left for him to make 36 years of age, the World Cup winner Lionel Messi has finally joined Inter Miami and the Here We Go, confirmed by Fabrizio Romano and very many other credible journalists all over this transfer world. Welcome to Brokani Media Football. We are talking Lionel Messi to Inter Miami in America. Looks like his journey to Europe is going to hate to come to an end. Then another big here we go for Judy Bellingham to Real Madrid is a here we go first reported or first called by David Austin, the transfer correspondent for The Athletic, and then Fabrizio Romano went ahead to confirm to us that it's done and dusted. It's a deal done and dusted. And lastly, we are going to really reveal to you how um, another Argentine player is going to hate to pass his medical at Liverpool. Everything has been signed and it's pending announcement. That is it coming in from Fabrizio Romano on Macalista Alexis from Brighton to Liverpool. Teams have gone ahead to really commence this in high gear. I don't know how it's really going to end, but the Lord God knows exactly how everything is going to happen. Rock and David is my name. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so as not to miss out on stories that we do upload in here on a daily. Smash the like button close to 200 like time, close to 200 times, and then we will lay it the rest of the things flow. Let's sit at it off with Lionel Messi. It's for Bricio Romano coming up and obviously breaking the huge story that most of us have been waiting in for, telling us that Lionel Messi to Inter Miami, here we go. The discussion has been made and it will be announced by Lionel Messi in the next hours. Messi will play in the MLS next season. No more chances of Barcelona despite trying to make it happen. Obviously, we know we knew how Barcelona has been trying to work on this deal for the previous three months, imagine, and they failed to really present a very good feasibility plan to Lionel Messi and the father to see to it that he really <clears throat> gets this out of the way. Lionel Messi just had a lot of things to consider before he made this decision. There was a deal of Saudi Arabia. It was really lucrative, 1.2 billion euros for two seasons. That is it. And he said no to it. But he has found himself going to Inter Miami, a team owned by David Beckham. And what, what a transfer that has gone ahead to be pulled in here by David Beckham. <laughs> Therefore, Lionel Messi is going to be playing the MLS. And obviously, when you look at Inter Miami, he's really going to be having some huge games to play against Premier League teams this transfer Sorry, this preseason in the summer as teams of the Premier League like Manchester United, Arsenal, Chelsea um, and very many others are going to be there. Real Madrid, Barcelona are going to be there. So Messi might find himself play against a side of Barcelona. But Barcelona did all what they had to do. But as you know, the financial constructions at Barcelona are really so much alarming. To an extent that they cannot even sign a player on a free. That's how bad it is. The president told them of Barcelona, Tabias, that if at all they want to sign in a player at Barcelona, they need to first sell players worth 210 million euros. That's why I've come and read all people that, all viewers of this channel that, don't be surprised if at all a player that you think cannot leave Barcelona is put onto the market. <laughs> That's it. Barcelona has to move on players to raise 210 million euros to get in players. If they don't do that, they are going to find themselves in a situation of really not signing any player. I mean, it's getting, getting Gerard Piquet, Sergio Biscuits, and Jody Alba off their wage bill, close to £1 million goat off the wage bill of Barcelona per week. It has not gone ahead to create space for Lionel Messi to join them and has finally gone ahead to join Inter Miami. What are the incentives that have gone ahead to please Messi to drop the deal of Saudi Arabia to go ahead and really join Inter Miami? Now, Jacobs Ben has quoted Balog, is it Guillem? Very, very, very much close source to Lionel Messi and he has told us that Lionel Messi will join Inter Miami as per him first revealed Inter Miami deal includes support from Apple and Adidas. Talks between Messi and Inter Miami have been ongoing for almost two years. So, Inter Miami has been working on this deal and Barcelona thought that they had spent a lot of time working on the deal, like three, six months, you know. But, Inter Miami has been working on this deal for a very, very long time, two years, and that's why they managed to get in Apple and Adidas onto this deal. And one will ask himself, 
why is Messi dropping the 1.2 billion two year deal going to or opting to USA America? Lionel Messi is going to be getting a percentage of all the shirt sales, you know. Adidas has combined with Apple and they've made this happen. They are going to fold all his wage bills and I think it's going to be equivalent to what he was going to be earning from Saudi Arabia. Looking like he never wanted to really follow Ronaldo and I understand why as a person who has just gonna hate to win the World Cup and the world has gonna hate to really prove that you are the god then why do you follow Ronaldo? That's it. You shouldn't follow Ronaldo because everyone will say you see Messi has gone to Saudi Arabia to compete with Ronaldo and what a wise move that Messi has gone ahead to pull off. You know, it has been really nice for Lionel Messi and he's really going to be playing in the MLS. When you look at Inter Miami, Inter, Inter Miami, they've gone ahead to find themselves playing. Even tomorrow they are playing a game against Birmingham Legion FC. So we don't know when Messi is going to start playing for them as they're also going to play in the US Cup quarterfinal they're into the quarterfinals and so on and so forth remember he goes to the team that whose manager has just gotten sacked by David Beckham that is Phil Never, a brother to Gary Never. So that's all what you had for Lionel Messi more is yet going to be revealed and whatever piece that's going to be dropped expected to come in here onto the Brokani Media Football on the Transfer News Show. Let's go to the other transfer that has gone ahead to really be announced. <clears throat> First called by David Austin. Exclusive. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Real Madrid have reached an agreement with Borussia Dortmund to sign Judy Bellingham. Fee in excess of 10 million euros among biggest clubs in both Amongst biggest deals in both clubs' histories, 19-year-old said to handle medical in coming days, completing the move. The first call was from David Austin. Then later, Fabrizio Romano followed it up and said the following that, Bellingham to Real Madrid, here we go. Agreement in place with Dortmund. It's a done and dusted deal. Fee, 100 million euros plus add-ons. Bellingham will sign a six-year deal valid until June 2029 agreed in april medical tests already booked as madrid want to get it done this week it shows you how serious teams like madrid are especially when it comes to really making signings and judy bellingham one of the best midfielders in the world and when it comes to his age because he's not going to hit even hit 20 he's still 19 no one matches his levels in the world right now he is one of the best central midfielders he can play as a central attack midfielder he can play as a number eight or a box to box midfielder in anywhere you want to fit him so it comes out to lots or it unfolds into two on this deal of judy bellingham that he's really going to come out and obviously become one of the biggest one of the biggest players at Real Madrid. Though the pressure is really huge, but I understand if at all he managed to go ahead and really play in the championship at the age of 15, you know, then how can he fail to really play at Real Madrid? I understand he is, he, he has got a big head on young shoulders and a big heart in him and, a, and an immense talent that has gone ahead to see him be at Borussia Dortmund for three years and I think has seen it all. He has played in the Champions League, he has played in the Euros, has gone ahead to play into the World Cup. It's high time he stepped it up to one of the biggest clubs in the world to go ahead and play there. There are lots of English players who are going to have to play at the Real Madrid side and he's going to follow into the footsteps of David Beckham, Steve McManaman, Mike Owen, um, would get the defender and very many others I've gone ahead to play but I think they've all not had bad spells there they've gone ahead to really light the world so when you look at his deal it's really done and dusted going to join the likes of Luka Modric, Tony Kroos, Chiomini, Valverde, um, Kamavinga and so on and so forth and now how is the ideal midfield of Real Madrid going to look with Judy Bellingham joining it? I believe it's really going to be revamped with a little bit of young blood. And if at all, on any day you give me Chiomini, Kamavinga, and Judy Bellingham in a midfield three, I think that will be an ideal 
midfield three that you would like to go ahead and really move on. With Kamavinga, also 19, 20 years of age. Chiomini is just 21, 22 years of age. I think the future of Real Madrid in that midfield is really bright because when you saw them lose to Man City at Etihad in the in the semi-final of the Champions League, you saw to it that they were outrun by Man City in that midfield. You know, Luka Modric is 39, Tony Cross is 34, 35. The only young player they had in was Valverde, but they never had to, they couldn't match the levels of, they couldn't, ma they couldn't match the levels of intensity of Rodri, Ika Gundogan, and Kevin De Bruyne. They couldn't at all. So it was an overload and the adrenaline levels of Man City were really way above those of players of Real Madrid. So as it stands, Madrid are willing to spend close to 300 million euros this summer. They are chasing after Harry Kane. Will Harry Kane be the next English player to go ahead and really join Judy Bellingham to be playing for Real Madrid? All that is left into our sight to see to it that they can go ahead and really convince Tottenham Hotspur to sell the player him having just one year left on his contract. The club is saying he's not for sale, but the player wants to move. United is another team into the mix to go ahead and obviously sign Harry Kane. Let's seal it off with a story coming in from Fabrizio Romano about McAllister. Liverpool have just signed Alexis McAllister for 35 million pounds. Reds have now triggered the clause to sign the midfielder after a medical test. Medical test complete the Brighton permission. Documents are being signed. Here we go confirm. Now, at first they told us 30, 45 to 50 million pounds. Now, real man has come in through. It's 35 million pounds. What a bargain for Liverpool, guys. What a bargain. Getting in a player with a level of, or playing at the level of Macalista at 35 million pounds, that is an absolute bargain. It's no brainer that Liverpool has gone ahead to conduct one of the best signings of the season. After shining at the World Cup, he has gone ahead to really throw in one of the best performances. But what is going to make news is all about the amount of money Liverpool have gone ahead to pay. 35 million pounds. And when you look at teams like Chelsea calling 75 million pounds for Mason Mount, you just look at how ignorant they are. If Macalista can leave Brighton for 35 million pounds. All right, we understand that he had a release clause in his contract, and if at all, he never had a release contract, he would have gone ahead to go for like 60 or 70 million pounds, but it shows you the levels. Macalista is way by far a better player than Mason Mount, and Chelsea should learn from this, right? So, medical have been done, he has passed the medical, he has gone ahead to sign documents and it's a here we go confirmed again by Fabrizio Romano. So guys your thoughts on Messi joining Inter Miami and snubbing the Saudi Arabian money that is the old money are welcome in the comment section below. What do you make about Judy Bellingham? Here we go to Real Madrid and then lastly Macalista signs for Liverpool. I sign out for now. See you later. Rokan David remains my name. And this is the Rokani Media Football. The Transfer News Show has been the segment. And I cover you all in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. The Muslim subscribers, may Allah see you through your ways. I'm out.